Hey there guys, what's going on? This is Pickles. Um, this is a Photoshop tutorial CS6 and we're going to be today looking at the, uh, in very brief detail, the Content Aware tool and in some detail the Patch tool. Um, these are two great new features that have been added to the new Photoshop. Um, absolutely fantastic, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll just quickly drag this image in. As you can see in the backdrop, um, this It's Like Chocolate background well this is what it was it is now a uh, full proof background I've always had that problem with the old Photoshop having this as you can see this it's like chocolate in I used it on a few of my old backgrounds but as you can see uh, with the new one I managed to actually get rid of the it's like chocolate and I'm going to show you how uh, we're going to be using the patch tool first off uh, just basically nothing like the pen tool just going around it getting rid of that apple symbol and everything uh, just trying make it a bit generous uh, so Photoshop has got th something to work by and as I found just line it up like that and then let Photoshop work its magic control D, D, select, there you go as you can see if you really want to be on the trained eye kind of side you can see the little kink there I mean on that one on this one here sorry it's again a little kink but I mean nothing you're really going to notice so again really really smart tool um, and we're now going to be moving on to the content aware tool I've only just looked into this I heard about it and I've just given it a quick go um, nothing major so again go around your image uh, make sure your mode is on move which is I'll show you where that is in a second after I've outlined this epic here your mode should be on move and adaptation I'd probably say medium and literally just drag your image. I want it to the left of it, so here, and that'll do. Now, my image in theory should move. It is removing the image as you can see, and there you go. How good is that? Uh, obviously, there are a few problems here. The image has actually moved to the left, but since the grass and everything's different, yeah. Put your adaptation maybe to very strict, then try moving it now it should be a lot stricter um, and the frame should be better I don't know if they will be again it's there yeah uh, it's again a work in progress uh, I guess you could call that the backdrop and the backdrop sadly followed the tree um, you can go onto the healing brush tool Oops, my bad. and you can just like blend the frames in I guess which doesn't seem to be doing very much again these new I've only just started using this new Photoshop so these spot healing might do the trick or not. Uh oh wait. Awesome. So this is how you get rid of the blue thing around the sides. I'll just get rid of it gradually. But again you don't want to too much. I guess it's where you this is only an example I mean. But I mean the more you play around with it, obviously the easier it will be. Uh, blending frame wise, uh, different backgrounds will be different. Personally, I think it is an amazing, amazing, amazing piece of technology. I was quite surprised by it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, when my friend told me, I, I actually thought he was kidding. So, you know, it's, uh, it's very, very good. Right, I've had a quick play around with the heel tool and I've managed to do that. So the tree has now moved. It kind of looks like there's a bit of a, a like a hill here. But again, most likely, uh, let's try and get rid of that a bit. There we go. And as you can see, it kind of looks like it's always been there. Obviously, these cloud and maybe around the tree if you really want to pay attention. But I mean, if you're going to be just, if you want to move that, for example, or you don't even want to get rid of it and you do that I mean you're not going to really be able to tell if you know what I mean so yeah anyway thank you for watching this tutorial guys I hope these two tips have been very useful to you as they are to me and uh, hopefully um, I'll bring a new RS fit out pretty soon so I'll speak to you soon and thanks for watching